Hello and welcome to ProjectWise Administrator Fundamentals Accreditation Course, Environment Interfaces. In the previous lesson, we learned how to create an environment as well as assigning documents to the environment we create. But there was no method for users to associate attribute data to documents. So in this lesson, we will learn how to create and design an interface to allow users to input and associate attribute information to the documents. Environment with defined attributes once created will not be accessible to users until administrators go to the attribute layout under the environments node. Here we see the designer and the manager interfaces. These are just examples of interfaces that can exist in ProjectWise. When we create an interface, it is because we want to show a subset of attributes that is relevant to a group of individuals. For example, designers may need to see a set of attributes that are not relevant to the managers and vice versa. There are no limitation on how many interfaces we can have in ProjectWise, but later on, we will go through the pros and the cons for having multiple interfaces in ProjectWise. If we need to create a new interface, we can go to the Interfaces node, right mouse click, New Interface. Give it a name of Standard and hit OK. Go back to the existing environment, for example, Complex or My Company. Go to Attribute Layout. We will see the Standard Interface appear right after we create it. Under the Standard Interface, there are Attributes tab and More Attributes tab. We can allocate the environment attributes that we created earlier onto these two tabs. If we have X amount of interfaces in ProjectWise, it will also have X amount of interfaces under each environment. So it can be confusing for both ProjectWise administrators and ProjectWise users. As ProjectWise administrators can design and allocate the attributes in one interface and users won't see them unless they also select the same interface that administrators designed them in. My advice would be to keep the number of interface to an absolute minimum. Don't create an extra interface unless it is absolutely necessary. Since we have created my company environment with attributes, Let's go ahead and add these attributes to the standard interface so that users can associate these attributes to the relevant documents. Let's go to My Company Environment, Attribute Layout, and select Standard Interface. These two tabs, Attributes and More Attributes tab, they are the same tabs that users see when they select a document and open the Document Properties window in ProjectWise Explorer. The Attributes tab allow us to design the way we want users to see. However, this tab is fixed and it is not expandable. So consider only putting important information on this Attributes tab. The More Attributes tab, project-wise, uses vertical scroll bar to allow users to access attributes from top to bottom in the Document Properties dialog window. Consider putting secondary attribute information on the More Attributes tab. Go to the Attributes tab. Currently, it is blank. We can add attributes to the tab by right mouse clicking it on the blank area and select Add Attributes. Select everything except Drawn Date and Drawn By. We will put these two attributes onto the More Attributes tab later on. Go ahead and hit OK. Go to the More Attributes tab and then in the blank area, right mouse click Add Attributes. Go ahead and select Drawn Date and Drawn By and hit OK. So we have some attributes on the Attributes tab and others on the More Attributes tab. Later on, if we add new attributes to the environment, don't forget to put these newly created attributes onto the Attributes tab or the More Attributes tab so that users can access them as well. When designing the Attributes tab, consider organizing the information from top to bottom and from left to right. So for instance, move Title 2 and Title 3 to the bottom right. Move area to the right so that project ID can appear on the top left. Move doc type next to area as well as level 
followed by serial number. We can see that it does not align and space out correctly. So let's go ahead and move the serial number to the right. We will move the level as well. Make sure we select both the label and the value. We will move the doc type. It seems like it's spaced out correctly, but there is a problem with the alignment. We want all the labels on the top to align correctly. So let's go ahead and select the serial number label. As we select it, we see that there is a black handle highlighted. We then select label. You can see that the black handle now has changed to focus to the level label. Let's select doc type and area. Finally, project ID. The one with the solid black handle is the one that we want to align it to. Let's go ahead and select the align top icon. We want to repeat the same for the values as well. So let's go ahead and select the serial number value, level, doc type, area and project ID. Let's go ahead and click on align top as well. Next, we will choose the doc code. We want to make sure that it aligns correctly with the project ID attribute. So let's go ahead and select the project ID value and choose align left. The doc code is an attribute that will hold a combination of the project ID, area, doc type, level and serial number. So this attribute would need to be wide enough to hold all the above information. Let's go ahead and widen this attribute. We also want users to be able to see that as the drawing number instead of doc code. So right mouse click on the attribute properties and then go to the interface tab instead of doc code as the label we are going to change that to drawing number. Let's go ahead and click OK. Next, we are going to move ref and ref date right under drawing number. Since ref note allows multi-line entries, we are going to move it to the middle of the screen and we are going to extend the attribute so that it allows multi-line entries. We are going to move title one, title two, and title three right underneath ref note. We also want to widen the title one attribute so that users can enter more characters into this attribute. We want title two and title three to also match title one. So let's go ahead and select title three, title two, then select title one. Again, the black handle should be with the attribute that we need to align to. And then click on the icon, make same width. We also want to check on the tab order for these attributes by clicking on this tab order icon. Here we can see the first attribute to be in focus is area because it's labeled as one followed by the drawing number. This is not exactly correct and it can be confusing for the user as each time a user hit the tab key on the keyboard, the focus for the attributes will appear randomly. To fix this problem, we can select the attribute. If it is the first one we want it to be in focus, we can click move top. We can use these tab order icons, move top, move up, move down and move bottom to control the focus for each of the attributes that we see on the attributes and more attributes tab. For any attribute that we want to focus as the next one, for example, doc type, we can select the attribute and then click on move up. Repeat this until all the attributes focus flow from top to bottom and from left to right. The exercise for this lesson, we would want my company environment to show users the attributes tab and more attributes tab similar to what is currently shown on this slide. Once interface has been designed for the environment, users in ProjectWise Explorer should be able to select the standard interface from the drop down and then open the document properties dialog window and then go to the attributes tab. Users should be able to see and access the attributes for the documents.
During this lesson, we have learned how to create and design an interface for an environment to allow users and associate the attribute information to the documents. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.